Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Caves and Cliffs SMP. As you can see here in our last episode we built this amazing looking guardian farm. At least I like it. I hope you guys like it too. I'm pretty proud of this uh, build myself. Take another look around inside. Oops. I left a loom right here. Let's grab that real quick. Anyways. In this episode, I'd like to uh, get the elytra because flying around is a whole lot easier, right? So let's go cutscene to that real quick and grab our elytra and come back to this episode to uh, what I got planned for us. Let's go. Here we are at the end portal. Let's jump in here and go see if we can find us a uh, end city. It looks like somebody's built a tunnel straight down through here. I wonder who could have done that. Well, anyways, let's jump right into this and go find us an in city. Of course, we beat the dragon once. We might have to do us another dragon fight to open up another portal. But I'll bring you guys back as soon as I uh, find the in city, and we'll loot it together. Let's go. Alright everyone, we found the end city, and there's our ship right there. Ooh, look out guy, we don't want to look at you right now. And, uh, let's we'll jump to a little montage of looting this place. Let's go!
right, we got the elytra, but there's one more thing we need to do to to uh, get these ready to use. And I got it right here in my inner chest. Let's get this out real quick, and bam, there it is. Mending and unbreaking. Let's throw this here. Let's throw these here on here real quick. There we go. Let's grab us a set of rockets. And let's jump off here and take our first flight. With you all. Oh no. <laughs> that wasn't good. Maybe he'll be all right now. We'll find out. But yeah, as you can see, I completely rated this thing. There's a few shulkers floating around that I can't find, and I really don't feel like looking for it, to be honest. But anyways, let's get back to the overworld and explain a little bit of uh, what I got planned for this bi uh, episode. Let's go. Alright everyone, we made it back here to the main base island here. And as you can see here, I've got plenty of goodies from our in-city raid. I did find another in-city and it had a few things left over by another player, but I didn't have another spare elytra, but that's okay. I made a pit stop to my uh, first original base that I had with a couple other teammates. As I mentioned in the first episode, Anyways, I went and grabbed it and I grabbed all my gear that I had there. Now we have plenty of extra tools and food and rockets and a couple of extra spare elytra. And I think we're looking good on our equipment now. And let me quickly put this here stuff away and I'll get back to explaining to what we're going to be doing. Alright everyone, let's explain a little bit of what I've got planned to go along with this episode. I'd like to get the bee factory built in this episode. I hope you all like this design. I've worked a little while in a test creative world to try and get it right and I hope you all like it. I have way more than enough materials for all of this, hopefully. And of course, it's 20 beehives is what it requires. I forgot the uh, collection system, which I'm bad for forgetting to add the collection system into my builds. But this here is re the reason we needed the Guardian Farms, because we needed plenty of this uh, Dark Prismarine. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's do uh, this build and. I'm just going to do progress updates again and I hope y'all don't mind these progress updates as it's hard to uh, do time lapses on the bedrock edition of the game without having a secondary account or anything like that to be able to join the realm. Anyways, let's uh, get started on this build and I'll get right back with you all as we do the uh, progress updates. Let's go!
Alright everybody, we have this bee farm done. Let's take a quick look at the factory. As you can see here, we have completion of the whole build. Let's zoom in here. Of course, we still got our finer details to add in, our little pipes and cogs and whatnot to go in. But we do have our honey tank in and our purified honey collection on the outside here. Let's fly down here real quick. We'll have a nozzle either come out on this side or this side. I'm not really too for sure which side yet. I'm thinking more this side and will probably look better with, a hunt, with our uh, tanker that collects our honey and ships it off to other places. And of course we'll have our other finer details going in and out of the building. But I just wanted to get the factory main part done and get it up and running. And you see here we got eight bee nests on each side. This side here is honeycomb of course. Jump right up here. So you guys can get a good look inside. And we just got a simple minecart hopper clutching and an unloader here that uh, unloads all of, all of our product. A fully automatic farm. And we'll go upstairs here, take a look on the maintenance area. And we got our bar barrels here that have a hopper above them that just funnel down into the dispensers as we need them. Of course I'll fill all these barrels up with uh, dispensers or uh, shears. I'm sorry. Stumbled over my words again. And of course we have our honey bottles here. We got these all pretty much filled up evenly. And we will have to uh, keep an eye on our uh, dispensers here on the honey clutch inside or for our honey bottles because once it runs out of a, a bottle in a slot it'll start picking up the honey inside of the inside of the dispenser I'm still stumbling over my words I apologize people anyways that's uh, how that there will go I'm gonna do a quick fly over here we'll land right here on this top of this tank and as you can see here we do have our extra details we need to add in our pipes and stuff going in and out and around and of course this right here is basically our main uh, tank of course we'll have our pumps and stuff built in somewhere on the inside here that makes it look like it's all being pumped up to this holding tank that get, then gets sent out to our purified uh, honey collection and in our next episode we'll have another factory built right here next to it I like to build all my structures and in before I put my roadways and finer details in that way uh, I can just put my roads where I need them without having to worry about the layout too much I know that's a little unusual but that's just the way I think anyways I hope you guys like this uh, build. If you don't care, leave me a comment down in the, uh, below. Let me know what your thoughts are and uh, give me a like. Until the next episode, goodbye.